Hello Virgo, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at what's coming your way in love and what can you expect next and who you might be dealing with in the near future. As always, these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Virgo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, Virgo, let's see what we have for you in love for Virgo. What can they expect in love? Virgo expect. Page of Cups reverse, the Magician, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so there's been some sort of, I feel, disappointment here with the Page of Cups. I'm trying to, I'm going to clarify and see what that's all about. But I feel like someone's trying to think of what to do about this. Where is all of this leading to? The Hierophant reverse, Taurus energy. Nine of Swords reverse, and the Eight of Swords. Okay. So a little back and forth here. Um, the eight of the not, the eight of swords is about fear, uh, stuck energy, feeling trapped in a situation, and the nine of swords reverse uh, could be a card about overcoming fear and anxiety. Um, so it's like a back and forth is happening here. And with the higher font reverse, someone could just you know this could be a symbol of a broken commitment or a broken contract, but it could also symbolize someone that no longer cares what people think of them is not is no longer doing what's expected of them um, a bit of a rebellious energy there but maybe it's not so simple right maybe somebody is like well i don't care what people think i don't care uh, you know what how i might look when all of this is said and done but maybe that's just it's easier said than done right <laughs> but um, overall energy is the two of swords reverse so some sort of decision here is very important Someone has come to a decision um, or needs to come to a decision. So we're going to have to, oh, oh my God, I almost lost all the whole set of cards. So let's let me scoot up here. Tell me more about the energies here for Virgo. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Virgo? comes to love what do we need to know for Virgo okay we have grounded balanced and rational we have second chances what else for Virgo inner voice okay can okay, one more for Virgo what's the energy for Virgo regarding love what can they expect in love youthful lighthearted, and fun bottom of the deck fearless motivated and bold that's kind of what i think someone's trying to be someone's trying to be um decisive rebellious perhaps this magician making things happen um but i think that there's more to that than you know it appears at first glance here i think someone's fighting between what's grounded rational what's expected and then what's like risky and you know not so what's the word the opposite of someone that already knows how things are going to play out <laughs> i can't think of it right now but it's almost like there's a there's a an inner conflict that someone's having between what's safe and what's you know risky so let's get some clarity here because I feel like there's a lot going on. Because this is this is a situation between you and another person, most likely, Virgo, unless this is you. But it's I feel like there's someone that wants to accomplish something in this connection. And I'm trying to get to what that might be. Tell me about this two of swords reverse. Why is the Two of Swords reverse? Strength, Leo energy, exactly. Um, I feel like this decision that someone's making or needs to make requires courage. And there's the Queen of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles. This is exactly the energy that I was just talking about. Someone that's anxious, worried about the future outcome of something with the Seven of Pentacles, wondering if this is the right thing to do, wondering if things will play out, wondering what the future holds. And then there's like the Queen of Wands energy, which is like the go-getter, bold, fearless, motivated, 
Queen of Wands, they get what they want. They go after what they want and they get it. So I feel like someone's having like an internal battle here. Leo energy with the strength card. I don't know if I said that already. Okay, tell me more about this Two of Swords reverse. What do we need to know about the Two of Swords reverse? And it could, be, wow, the Chariot, Cancer energy, and the Tower. So Virgo, maybe that's why someone hasn't really jumped on this. It's because the Tower moment is tied to this decision. However, it will free someone with the chariot. I'm getting free. I'm not getting movement. I'm getting like, like I'm, I'm picturing a horse like coming out of a gate. Like they're free, able to move. And before I saw that tower and the chariot, I was going to say something about second chances. That maybe somebody feels like this is their uh, opportunity for a second chance for something to change for them. So let's see, what's this magician about? Because I feel like this is really the important energy here. Why is the magician here for Virgo? Why is the magician here? Queen of Cups, Nine of Wands. Why is the magician here? This could be somebody motivated by how they feel for someone else or just by emotions, you know, wanting to do something that, ooh, the Hierophant Taurus energy and the world. Interesting. So the Hierophant has shown up twice. I think it's important. This could be somebody deciding what to do about a commitment, a relationship, the world and the Six of Wands. You know, again, this idea of like something ending and beginning, this tower, this chariot, going after something else. So Virgo, I'm not sure if this is you, the person that you might be dealing with now or in the future. But I'm getting this energy of someone that's bound by expectations with the higher font. Like I know that this card could mean that someone's in a commitment or a marriage, but I still get this idea of someone that's almost like this nine of wands because of this higher font energy. So someone could be um, exhausted, paranoid, tired, worn out because of an, a commitment or because of obligations, sure. But I'm also getting that someone's feeling this way because they keep doing what's expected of them, not necessarily what makes them happy. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. What's the Seven of Cups about? Justice, Libra energy, and then the High Priestess. Let me move these over. what's balanced, what's fair, what their intuition could be telling them here. Inner voice is here, which is inspired by the high priestess. So whatever decision this is, it's like an official decision with justice. Can I get one more for the seven of cups? Can I get one more please for the seven of cups? Why is the seven of cups here? The sun. Interesting, with the High Priestess and the Sun, I'm getting like opposite energies. The High Priestess is hidden. The High Priestess is mysterious, secret. There is a veil. The Sun's out in the open, bright, radiant. You can see everything. I think this is part of the decision. I know it sounds crazy possibly to people <laughs> listening to this. Like, isn't the Sun about happiness? Yes, it is. But I also have to think of what messages I'm getting when I see these energies and I'm not getting such a clear message as, oh, this is somebody that their decision is to be happy. I think it's more than that. Tell me about this sun. Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? For Virgo. The Ace of Swords, clarity, truth, information. 
Knight of Swords. So I think that this is something out in the open. I feel like this is something possibly very public. This decision would be very public or happen. People would see it online or, or there, it would be an, an informed decision or someone communicates this decision to multiple people or maybe even at a court or something like that. Tell me about the Page of Cups reverse. Why is the Page of Cups page of pentacles why is the page of cups reverse yeah seven of cups so someone is feeling yeah someone is feeling disappointed heartbroken um they could even be depressed with this page of cups reversed and i feel like it's it's almost like moving them or pushing them to to think about things in a different way seven of cups or to make different choices you know, the tower, the strength card, the chariot, very powerful energies here. This is someone that's, you know, a tower has happened and it's liberated, liberated them, sorry. And I feel like this is, is it's not just liberating as in like someone being free of a place, but also mental freedom, like someone who's relieved, you know, or is able to think differently, be happy, um, do what's what they want to do for once, that kind of liberation. I think this decision and this tower, very public. It, it would be very public for some reason. For example, if this is someone that is deciding to move to a whole new state, just, in, just as an example, all their families and, and friends would know. Um, either on social media or they just won't see them there anymore. They're going to see them somewhere else. You know what I mean? If this is someone that decides to leave a marriage, for example, that would also be very public. People would know eventually. That's kind of what I'm picking up here. So let's see what this higher font reverse is about down here. This is kind of where all of this is headed in the near future. Um, again, conflicting energies that I'm getting here with the Nine of Swords reverse and the Eight of Swords. So we'll see what the heck this is about. But let me start with the higher font reverse. Why is the higher font reverse? Why is the higher font reverse? This one. If I can grab it. Page of Cups. Okay. Very interesting. Two of Wands. Yes. Um, I get the sense that someone is... Um, Ah, how do I say this? Unhappiness is tied to expectations. I'm speaking to a Virgo who feels this way or the person they're with feels this way. This could even be somebody coming into your life that's been feeling like doing the right thing, doing what's expected of them has just led to disappointment and unhappiness maybe even feelings of depression. I think someone's looking at a different path here, a path that maybe others didn't think they would take. Can I get one more please for the higher font reverse? What do we need to know about the higher font reverse? Yeah, eight of cups, exactly. And the ace of wands leaving somewhere new. And this, and the, they're doing this because they cannot be happy unhappy anymore ten of wands at the bottom of the deck they cannot deal with this burden anymore they can continue on the same path so i'm speaking to a virgo who's dealing with someone like this or who is thinking about walking away from something that makes them unhappy walking towards happiness however this is easier said than done this could be something that someone has fantasized about planned for dreamed of but hasn't actually done. And it's because a tower needs to happen. It's connected. Tell me about the Nine of Swords reverse. Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone needs to overcome this mental block. This feeling of entrapment. There's the Hermit Virgo. There you are. And they're thinking about it. Um, yeah, there's the death card at the bottom of the deck with the moon. Scorpio and Pisces energy here. This hermit energy, which I feel clearly could be you. 
um, because it is the sign of Virgo. But again, take it as it resonates. Someone's really thinking about what this ending would mean. There's a lack of clarity about this ending because we don't, we can't see into the future. Someone doesn't know what's going to happen after this death card. You know, anything could happen. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. What's this Eight of Swords about for Virgo? Four of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Three of Cups. To get one more. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. The world, yeah. The lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy. Um, this could be that you already have someone in mind. Um, there could be a third party or another person that you're thinking about. This could even be um, a symbol for a future partner. So if this is you, Virgo, for example, and you're thinking about walking away to have a new beginning and everything that comes along with that, you know, obviously an ending, um, you're thinking about what's on the other side, the future, what, what this cycle will look like for you and what people would be there with the lovers or what kind of connections you would make. You could even be thinking about your soulmate or someone that you already know or, or the ideal partner, etc., etc., etc. Um, however, I feel like this eight of swords is also a symbol for not just fear, but someone feeling a bit restricted at home, perhaps with the four of wands. Or again, three of cups, four of wands. Um, I'm thinking like a celebration, a party. I'm thinking like multiple people. Again, this, this idea of visibility. Everyone will know what decision I make. What will people think? I, I just see that someone's almost like bound by this, shackled by this, by the expectations that they've put on themselves. And they constantly think about this with the Hermit and the Eight of Swords. They constantly think about this. What would happen if I were to just leave? What would happen if I were just, you know, to be free? What else do we need to know, Spirit, when it comes to Virgo's person? The person that they are currently dealing with or will be dealing with in the future. What do we need to know about this other person? The person that Virgo is thinking about now or the person coming in in the near future. What do we need to know about this new person? The High Priest is reverse. What do we need to know? about the person that Virgo is dealing with or will be dealing with in the future. Page of Wands reverse and the lovers again. Gemini energy once again with the lovers. I think there's a soulmate there for you, Virgo. I don't think that you're with them right now. The High Priestess reverse is almost like telling me that this will be revealed to you or no longer your soulmate is hidden from you, something like that. But with the Page of Wands reverse, I'm getting hesitation, I'm getting fear, I'm getting someone that is thinking it might be too risky or isn't really thinking about things in a rational, um, practical way. Someone could reveal their feelings for you. That might backfire, I'm not sure. We'll have to see in the extended what this is all about. But I specifically want to look at this Eight of Cups and Ace of Wands in the extended, what this means for you, what's on the other side of this Eight of Cups and Ace of Wands, and then we'll break down this energy about this other person that you could be meeting or are dealing with right now that I feel doesn't really have anything to do specifically with what's on the board right now. For some reason, I feel like your ideal person or the person you want to be with Virgo isn't really here. It's it's like if this is you making the decision to walk away, you're doing it for yourself first, for your person second. Does that make sense? If this is your person, then it's the same thing. They want to be happy on their own 
or they're doing this for themselves and then on the other side of it there might be you in the future right but it's not like they're specifically thinking about you I don't know if that makes sense if it does leave me a comment let me know <laughs> I'm sure this reading is for a Virgo out there or someone dealing with a Virgo um, anyways so I'm gonna take this to the extended now Virgo we're gonna clarify these energies like I said and I'm also gonna specifically look at this eight of cups ace of wands because I think that this is precisely what someone is thinking about planning for um, wanting and I want to know what's on the other side of that 